Hey, it's me, Arthur, a.k.a. the Indie Comic Book Guy. Want to talk to y'all about something very important that's affecting newbie creators out here on the internet, and that is the onslaught of Facebook publishers that are taking advantage of new creators, taking their money, taking their intellectual properties, and it needs to stop. Now, what is a Facebook publisher, you may ask? Glad you asked that. A Facebook publisher is anyone who claims, any company that claims they are a legit publisher who has the means to not only print your comic, but to distribute it to a worldwide audience. Isn't that what publishers do? Now, there is a difference between a publisher and a printer. We'll get to that later. But for now, just know that a publisher, their main job is to distribute your book or product. Let's keep that in mind. Some publishers also act as a printer and print it. A lot of them don't, especially when it comes to comics. So let's just look at it like this. Their main job is to distribute your comic book. That's it. Most independent publishers, when you look at Boom, IDW, Dynamite, uh, Alterna, Antarctic Press, they do not pay for your public, uh, they do not pay for your production costs. That's up to you as the creator. Many of these publishers do not gather together a creative team. Again, that's up to you. Form your own creative team. Their job is to distribute your book, market, promote it, all of that good stuff. Now, keep in mind, when I say this, their job is to get your book to a mass audience, digitally and physically, and use as many publishing outlets as they can to get the word out and to get your book out. They don't just rely on Diamond. Now, having said all that, we established what a publisher does. Their book is to distribute your book. What happens if someone comes along and they don't do that? Yet, they claim they want to publish your book. Hmm. What now? You want to publish my book, but you don't have a diamond deal? Okay, we can deal with that. You still, do you have a network of stores that you work with? No. What exactly are you going to do for me that I can't do for myself? Kickstarter. I can do my own Kickstarter. Yeah, but so can we. We'll do it better than you. So sign on the dotted line. We'll do your Kickstarter for you. And we'll split up the profits after production cost, marketing, fulfillment, and all that uh, extra stuff. What extra stuff? Don't worry about the extra stuff. Just we, we'll handle it afterwards. So that's the plan. These Facebook publishers, uh, and we call them Facebook publishers mainly because that's where a lot of them originate. They go get a LLC and a fancy logo, boom, they're an instant publisher. But they have no means of getting your book out there to a worldwide audience. They, Their plan, their one and only plan is to kickstart your book and take advantage of you as a creator. Some publishers like Short Fuse Media, whose publisher has mysteriously disappeared for the last few months, will sign you to an exclusive five-year deal. So keep that in mind. Your character's locked into a five-year deal with a publisher who has no means of getting your book out to a worldwide audience other than Kickstarter. Some of these Facebook publishers barely go to conventions. They don't have relationships with retailers to sell your book. So 
it pretty much starts and ends with Kickstarter. This is the thing that really hurts you because, okay, what if the Kickstarter was successful? Yay! Then what? Are there any outlets to sell said book? Some comicology, drive-thru. Do you have a website? Oh, yeah, we do have a website. What kind of traffic does this website have to make it a viable option other than Kickstarter? Uh, uh, what's the SEO look like? Uh, 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 you'll get these responses. So, again, what can these Facebook publishers do for you that you can't do for yourself? You can run your own Kickstarter. That's easy. Run your own Indiegogo. That's easy. You can book your own convention. That's easy. So, what can they do for you other than... Other than take your money. What can they do for you except for take your money? What can they do for you? Now, you have other people, uh, publishers like Marcus Dupree, who's been in the news for the last couple of years. Bleeding Cool even ran a long article listing a lot of campaigns that he ran and never fulfilled. Some creators say he didn't pay them. Some creators say he did not pay them. The list goes on and on. I'm not mentioning his publishing company mainly because he keeps changing the name. So when you see this video, I'm just going to put them up here on the screen. Some of the known ones. Scamming comic book creators for profit. That's the new age that we live in when you look at these Facebook publishers. Earlier, I mentioned Alterna, Boom, IDW, Dynamite, Alterna, Antarctic Press, and a lot of other medium-sized companies. I said, they don't pay for your production costs. That's true. They don't. But they will help get your books out into the stores. They will help get your books on media, digital media platforms. These two things are important. After that, it's up to you. You created the book. They're going to get it out there. They're going to get it printed. They're going to do some promotion, some marketing. The rest is up to you as far as marketing and promoting your book. That is the difference between a real publisher versus a Facebook publisher. Facebook publisher, no connections, just live and die based off Kickstarter alone. Again, there's nothing wrong with Kickstarter. Nothing wrong with Indiegogo. I use both of them frequently. But this is the difference. If Joe Smo is running a Kickstarter for his campaign, for his comic book, and he's not bringing no one else along for the ride saying, Hey, uh, I'm going to kickstart your comic book, but I'm going to take half. Or the profits after fulfillment and all that's covered. That's the difference right there. You're not Joe Smo is not bringing anyone else along for the ride, taking advantage of them for something that they can do for themselves. Now, I know some people are like, well, I don't know how to run a Kickstarter. Well, thanks to YouTube, it's a lot of videos to teach you how. I will even run a video, a step-by-step -step video on how to set up a Kickstarter man and maintain it in addition to the top 10 successful tips video that I already have on the channel. Check it out if you haven't. The goal with this channel is to educate people and help them from making some of the mistakes myself and some of my colleagues have made. We want you to win. You can't win if somebody's taking 50% of your IP. Marcel! <coughs> Sorry, something in my throat. Um, you can't win if somebody's signing to a ridiculous contract, locking in your character for five years, and then they disappear. You can't win at creating comic books if you allow yourself to be taken advantage of. And I know. Somebody says, hey, we like you. 
We want to publish your comic. That sounds exciting. I'm like, yes. This happened to me. And one of my characters was locked in a contract for seven years. And I recently got that character back. That was seven years. I couldn't do anything with that character. But just look at pictures of it. Nothing. And I don't want you to have to go through any legal battles to get your IP back. I don't want you to be trapped in a situation where, hey, I kickstarted it nine mil, uh, not nine million, nine thousand dollars, and the publisher disappears with the money. You don't see a dime, and only a, a fraction of your backers get the book. I don't want that to happen to you. That happened with Dorothy's John with her Spirit's Destiny number two, also on short fuse media but again this video is more than just short fuse this video is about anyone taking advantage of creators now speaking of taking advantage of creators artists constantly complain on social media these writers don't want to pay us these publishers don't want to pay us but what they don't tell you is some of these artists aren't delivering. That's also a, a fact. And they're right. Some people are taking advantage of artists. They're not paying them for the work. I tell these artists all the time, ask for payment up front. Or at least ask for half up front, the rest on, upon completion of the work. Once you complete it, send them a low resolution vector file, low resolution JPEG or whatever. They approve it. They pay you the rest of the money, then you send them the final product. I see writers, hey, stop writing for free. Well, I just wanted to write. It was fun. Ask for payment. Know your worth as a creator, whether you're a writer, inker, letterer, colors. Know your value. Know the industry rates. We'll get into that on another video. But, again... Don't let anyone take advantage of you as a, as a creator because you are worth more than what they're telling you you're worth. Your IP is worth more. So the next time someone tells you, hey, I want to sign you to my publishing company, ask them some questions. How are you going to distribute my book? What is your business plan? How can you get my book to the next level? What's your relationship like with retailers? Do you have a diamond deal? Um, are you going to put my book on Comicology, on drive through on any of these other digital networks? How many cons does your company go to per year? How is my book going to be represented at said cons? Ask questions. If you don't feel comfortable, as if, if you don't feel that you know all the questions to ask, ask someone else who has been published, who, are, who has gone through these misadventures. And we will gladly share our experience and give some suggestions on how you, you should proceed. So that's all I got for you. Again, don't get scammed by Facebook publishers. It's the Indie Comic Book Guy.